this video is kind of a practice type video. I really hope that you're going to grab an image and follow along with me. This lesson teaches you how to take JPEGs or PNGs and fill them in with colors, take images and turn them into cut files. And we're also going to look at something that I haven't really covered before and that's the lasso tool. It was kind of fun using it to be honest. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success and I do hope that you're going to join our little crafting community. Hit the subscribe button down below and check the notification bell so that you can stay in the loop. This video isn't very long today, but there is quite a bit of information in it. Let's get started. I was scrolling through on Creative Fabrica and I saw this image and just fell in love with it. And I decided that I would just play around with it and add some color just for fun. If you have an image like this and you want to add different colors to it, the first thing you're going to want to do is turn it to grayscale. This is actually a navy blue and black will trace better. After you have it adjusted so that it is a black and white image, you're going to trace draw your trace area and click on trace. You can then move the original image away and you're left with just the cut lines. Now we cannot ungroup this image so we need to release the compound path and that is going to make about a million different pieces but that's okay. Now we are going to fill all of these pieces in with white so that they are easier to click on and easier to change the color on. If it's just an outline, sometimes it's harder to grab the little pieces. We will be using the lasso today to select a bunch of different little pieces. In the past, I have not used the lasso very much, but I've decided that I actually really like it. You click on the lasso and then just draw a shape around whatever you want to select and you have to make sure that you get the end point all the way back to the starting point and close that shape up. When all of the pieces are selected, you can choose a different color. Now, I don't want her face to be yellow, so let's switch that back to more of a skin tone. And the reason I did it this way is because it's a lot easier to change the larger shapes than it is to go through and select all of the little bitty pieces in there. Now I can grab the larger areas and just change them to the color that I need. When you're working with the smaller areas, you can zoom right in on them and click a bunch at the same time and then switch the color on those. I'm going to speed up the video here because honestly, I just keep repeating the same processes. I'm either selecting pieces with the lasso or selecting multiple pieces by holding down my shift key on the keyboard and clicking individual parts and then changing to whatever color I think might look best. Now, if you have ever done the coloring apps online or you've ever enjoyed a uh, paint by number you will probably really enjoy going through and turning these jpegs or pngs into a more colorful piece i had a ton of fun doing this and it's a great project to help practice some of the skills it's the perfect way to remove the background from an image. And if you have business edition, you can save this as an SVG and cut it out of vinyl. You can save it as a PNG with a transparent background so that you're able to use this in other projects and place it on whatever background you would like. You can do a print and cut with this or you can do a sublimation print with this by removing the background and turning it into a vector file you increase the usefulness of this image so much Thank you. 
once I have colored in all of the pieces and it's exactly the way I want it, I go ahead and select all of the pieces and turn the cut lines to no color. I am going to add a background to this. I'm just going to draw out a square and change the color to black and send it to the back. If you need a little more instruction on how to complete this type of project, you're going to want to watch either one of these two videos. They both have more information on converting a JPEG or PNG to a cut file. If you still have questions after that, you're going to want to run over to the Book of Faces and join the Facebook group. I will link it in the description below. Somebody is always there to lend a helping hand. Now go create something amazing and I'll see you in the next video.